Good day, everyone. I am Dr. Emil Borneo, Master Teacher 1 from Vidal Sign Integrated School. Allow me to present to you a research investigation titled Competence and Challenges Encountered by Research Enthusiasts in a Funded District. Basis for Research Capacity Building. Debit Order Number 16, Series of 2017, otherwise known as the Research Management Guidelines or the RMG, supports the department's policy development process, research agenda, and program development and implementation. The DepEd continues to support and strengthen the culture of research in basic education. Meanwhile, according to Bonkayao, Action research evolves and improves the teaching practices, learning outcomes, and generate practical ways. However, many teachers are experiencing difficulties in doing one. So this is the very reason why, as a member of the district research MP, to conduct a study titled Competence and Challenges Encountered by the Research Enthusiast in Front of the District, Basis for research capacity building. So there's a statement of problem. First, what is the level of the competence among research enthusiasts in front of Kazan in conducting an action research? Second, what are the problems encountered by the research enthusiasts in front of Kazan in conducting an action research? Third, is there a significant relationship to the competence and the challenges they encountered in conducting action research. Fourth, based on the findings of this research, what research capacity building may be designed for the research enthusiasts in front of So for the methods, the researcher employed quantitative research, while purposive sampling was utilized. For the population, so it had 39 teachers as the research enthusiast for the instrument. So it, the researcher used a researcher made survey questionnaire and it was validated from the same district in front of Kenzon using Chromebox Alpha. For the statistical tools, we have weight and mean, Pearson R and Chromebox Alpha. For the findings, so the research enthusiasts evaluated their competence as slightly competent as reflected with overall mean of 2.14. Meanwhile, one item was evaluated where the research enthusiasts felt that they're not competent. And this is about making an introduction using CARS model. Second findings. So the challenges encountered by the research enthusiasts were interpreted as slightly serious with an overall weighted mean of 2.53. And on the other hand, four problems were identified as serious, such as they do not know the difference between an action research and basic research. Second, they need individuals who can guide them in making their research paper. Third, someone who can give them technical assistance and they do not have a background in the process of making an action research. While two items were found to be very serious and this are, they do not have training in action research and due to this lack of training, it made them reluctant in doing one. Third, the computed coefficient or R value was 0.56, which signified a considerable moderate correlation. Therefore, the research and DCS competence registered a relationship with the challenges they encountered. So as you can see, this is the proposed research capacity building. For the rationale, we have rationale, objectives, participants, date and venue, expected output, budgetary requirements, monitoring and evaluation, as well as the topics to be discussed in improving their competence in doing action research. For the conclusions, the research enthusiasts are just marginally competent in conducting a national research. 
Second, the challenges encountered by the enthusiast were slightly bearable. However, some challenges were serious and very serious, like they do not have enough trainings in conducting action research, and they needed individuals who will guide them in doing it. Also, the competence of the research enthusiast registered a relationship with the challenges they encountered. Hence, the findings rejected the null hypothesis. Therefore, one can determine that since research enthusiasts feel that they lack in terms of their competence, of course, there will be some challenges that they will encounter in making wine. For recommendations, so the PSDS needs to plan and implement more programs in terms of conducting research. So she may consider the output of this research investigation, which is the proposed research capacity building. So also she needs to facilitate and conduct monitoring and evaluation together with the district research committee every month so that uh, they can monitor the research paper of the research coordinators as well as some research enthusiasts through giving of technical assistance. The school heads may consider to encourage and help teachers in attending research trainings initiated and facilitated by the Department of Education as well as private organizations to develop their research competence by aiding them on their financial needs by including the such trainings to the annual implementation plan or AIP. And other means, of course, like for example, getting funds from the canteen funds and some donations from private uh, entities. Third, the research enthusiasts need to a, attend and participate research trainings or capacity building from the district division regional, national, international level to improve their research competence. Establish a well-planned and systematic research plan or timeline as to give research directions and to monitor the research paper's progress. Third, initiate a dialogue to the district research committee for them to be given technical assistance on the research paper. Lastly, to the future researchers, they may conduct an in-depth investigation on the possible impact of research capacity building or trainings in developing the teacher's competence in making an action research. So this time around, allow me to present to you since this action research is done already and the PSDS actually reviewed. So the PSDS together with the Infanta District Research Committee conducted the research capacity building last uh, March 70, 24, 31, and June 2023. So a four-day research capacity building. And as you can see, the picture is there. So our, um, the proposed research capacity building is effective and efficient since out of the 39 attendees who actually serve as the respondents when they're willing to attend the said training, 16 research enthusiasts are able to conduct and finish their action research. So it had 41% efficiency. And those researchers who finish their action research will join the district research plan on, on November 16, 2023. So I am very happy that the research output of this uh, paper was utilized and implemented and uh, it was found to be eff efficient. So with that, thank you very much for listening and may God bless us all. Thank you very much for it.